Hi guys and welcome to the voice of AI. My name is Chris Plant and some super cool big big news from yesterday. Meta have shared new progress on their AI speech work. The massively multilingual speech project has now scaled speech to text and text to speech to support over 1,100 languages, which is a 10 times increase from previous work. MMS is a game changer for the world of speech recognition and speech generation technology. This project, led by Meta, aims to break down language barriers by enabling machines to recognize and produce speech in over 1,000 languages, covering 10 times more languages than any existing speech recognition or speech generation model. With this multi-model system, people from all over the world can access information and communicate effectively in their preferred language, preserving linguistic diversity across the globe. One of the biggest challenges in creating a multi-model system for speech recognition and speech generation is finding the vast amounts of labeled data necessary for training such models. For most languages, such data simply doesn't exist, making it almost impossible to develop good quality models for speech tasks. However, the MMS project overcomes these challenges by using the New Testament translations, which have audio recordings of people reading the text in different languages to create data sets of readings in over 1,100 languages. This combined with unlabeled audio recordings from various Christian religious readings provides labeled data for 1,100 languages and unlabeled data for nearly 4,000 languages. The results of this project shows that MMS models outperform existing models and cover 10 times as many languages. Their models also perform equally well for male and female voices. Let's have a quick look at the data. Okay, so the first graph shows character error rates. This is an analysis of potential gender bias. Automatic speech recognition models trained on MMS data have a similar error rate for male and female speakers based on the FLIRS benchmark. And now here on character error rates, Meta-trained multilingual speech recognition models on over 1,100 languages. As the number of languages increases, performance does decrease, but only slightly. Moving from 61 to 1,107 languages increases the character error rate by only about 0.4%, but it increases the language coverage by over 18 times. If we look here in the word error rate, you can see in a like-for-like -like comparison with OpenAI's Whisper, Meta found that models trained on MMS data achieve half the word error rate, but MMS covers 11 times more languages. This demonstrates that their model can perform very well compared to the best current speech models. And finally, the error rates in percentage. Meta trained a language identification model for over 4,000 languages using their datasets, as well as existing datasets, such as FLIRS and Common Voice and evaluated it on the FLIRS language identification task. It turns out that supporting 40 times the number of languages still results in a very good performance. Furthermore, the MMS project provides code and models publicly so that other researchers can build upon their work and make contributions to preserve the language diversity in the world. While the models aren't perfect and run the risk of mistranslating select words or phrases, the project recognizes the importance of collaboration within the AI community to ensure that AI technologies are developed responsibly. This project has the power to make significant impact on the future of communication, breaking down the language barriers that have historically existed and encouraging people to preserve their languages. The vision is to create a world where technology can understand and communicate in any language, effectively preserving linguistic diversity. While this is really the beginning, the Massively Multilingual Speech MMS project represents a significant step towards achieving this goal. With the advancement of technology, the future is looking bright for communication across languages and cultures. Thanks for watching the video today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and join me on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. If you have any questions or any feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read them. So I'll see you next time and all the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye-bye now.